If you want cheap and reliable NBA 2K21 MT, go contact safembamt.com and use code WITNESS for a 5% discount. If you need to go 12 and 0, complete domination, Evo cards and other grinding services, go contact Rose NBA on Twitter. Link for that will be in the description. Yo, what's going on guys? Witness 2K back on NBA 2K21. In this video, I'm going to give you guys some early tips on how you can make some MT. It's obviously kind of hard at the moment because the game is still so new but I want to go through some tips with you guys and try and help you guys out as much as I can so make sure you guys do drop a like on this video right now and subscribe to the channel if you are new definitely going to keep making updated versions of these videos to help you guys along the way but for this first one because the game is like yeah still relatively pretty new obviously just the first day or two um, it's hard to make MT when no one's got MT, right? Um, I open packs, so I was able to make MT that way, but I know not everyone does that. So it can be hard to make MT when most people don't have a lot of MT. Like there'd be very limited amount of people that have over 100,000 MT, so that makes it a little bit hard. But one thing I do want to say, start off with is know, know how far you want to collect cards. So when it comes to collecting cards right here, you see, the final reward is a Jason Tatum, whether it's an Opal Tatum or a Dark Matter. Do you want that Tatum? Do you want this Lillard at 2,000 cards? I mean, that's really up to you guys. And of course, it also matters with the token market. We don't know what the Opals are yet, but you kind of got to decide, do you want to, to put your tokens toward this? Because if you don't want the tokens, then you don't need to lock in sets like this. So if you don't need a card like Josh Richardson, hypothetically, you can sell him. Because at the moment, because the best cards that you can really auction are Amethyst, so many things have more value than what they normally do. I, I try and base every 2K off the last one we just played. So obviously we just played NBA 2K20. Now 21 is here and cards are selling for a lot more now. I put a bunch of stuff on the auctions that I did not need. I didn't want it, I didn't need it, so I put it all on the auction no matter what it was, bronze, silver, gold, ruby, whatever. I put it all on the auction because I don't need it and I made a fair bit of MT I saved. I wanted to save it to redeem uh, to redeem in the video for you guys, but even everything like bronze cards, I'm selling them. I'm not just quick selling them. You gotta try and be a little bit patient. Some the prices change so quickly. And whenever I do put something on the auction, I got this range extender badge up that I'm trying to sell for 15K, which is a bit of a stretch. And I'm trying to sell this diamond shoe as well. Only put things up for four hours because the auction can change so quickly. Especially when the game is so new, the auction can change so quickly. So it's not really worth putting it up for 24 hours. Within an hour, the price has changed and you put away 24 hours to sell your thing. And by the time that 24 hours is up, you could have lost so much MT. So whenever you want to sell things, do it for just four hours. If it doesn't sell, check the price of it again, relist it for another four hours. That's what I did with everything here. Not everything sold on the first go. It took me a couple of attempts for, for some things, but in the, in, the, in the long run, we ended up selling everything, and that was the main goal. Um, one thing I will say is with silver cards, I don't really recommend selling silver cards. I had a, I got a bunch of silver cards that I, were, I was going to sell, but they don't have much value right now. So they're not really worth selling. I do believe silver cards will go up in price. So I do recommend just hanging on to your silver cards for now until we know what the Opal rewards are. That is gonna raise value of silvers until better things come into the exchange. That'll range value as well of silvers. I was able to sell a Joel Embiid for 7K MT. Kyle Lowry, I sold two of him, I think. I sold, see, I sold two Kyle Lowry's for 1,000 each, but when the game was still new, I sold one for 2,000. So you've got to sort of try and keep an eye on it as much as you can. Bradley Beal for 1.8, Jalen Brown 1.25, uh, a Lou Williams for 2,000. He sells for like under a K now, I'm pretty sure. Donovan Mitchell for two and a half, and I got a PG right here that I was able to sell for 9K, which was actually a duplicate. I do like that PG card. Another tip, obviously domination. There's always MT to be made in domination. I mean, you play, what, 33 games per, per um, what would you even call this, round or whatever you call it, per 99 stars. You know, if you can get a thousand MT per game, 
that's 33 grand. You're gonna get a lot of tokens from it as well, which is always good. And there's some end rewards there. You get one and a half thousand MT, 3000 MT as well for getting three stars. And it's gonna be the same thing with historic domination and all time domination, except the rewards are gonna be even better. So that is a good way. I wouldn't say that is a quick and easy way to get MT though. Domination looks like a hell of a grind. I don't know if I'm gonna have the, the patience to really bother with it this year. It looks like a hell of a grind for not that great a reward, so I'm not really messing with it. Um, we got Triple Threat offline. I've played a couple of games. If you can get the vault to open a lot and it keeps giving you the 1000 MT, that's good, but the rewards, they never get good. They never get good. You have 4,000 MT right here, but that's pretty much you'll get all of that once you get the 300 wins. It would be good to get to the 300 wins, so when the new season comes out, you know, and there's another 300 games, then you'll be at, there might be some better rewards, but right now, this is not worth it, and it's definitely not gonna be quick and easy to grind. We're gonna open up a few of these deluxe packs now. We'll open up about 40k worth. See if we can get lucky with a nice pull. I don't recommend you guys spend money on packs, but you know, if you do have the, the pre-order bonus or something like that, then you may as well, right? But stuff like that, I'm gonna send it all to my auctions, jerseys, everything, to try and get just top dollar. You wanna try and take advantage of the fact that bronzes are selling for a decent amount, golds are selling for a decent amount, because it's obviously gonna to get to the stage where people aren't really gonna care about them, and they're just gonna quick sell them. I got a Pascal Siakam right there, I don't think I actually have that card, so I won't actually be able to sell him, but at the same time, if I'm not using him, I may just chuck him on the auction, because I'm not interested in collecting cards. I usually never am, the rewards never seem worth it to me. Besides the Giannis in 2K19, that was the only one that was really worth the grind. But um, even badges, you know, keep an eye on what badges you have. We'll go to my collections in a minute and I'll show you guys some other things you can do there. But again, we do have shoes, where are the shoes at? I'm gonna go ahead, shoes, I mean, they're the same thing. I mean, by the looks of it, you can't actually, so you can add them to the exchange. So if you want to get a diamond shoe pack, so to get the diamond shoe pack, you need 15 gold shoes, 20 silver shoes, and 30 bronze shoes. So I'm gonna work out how much that would actually, how much MT, if you were to quick sell all those shoes, would actually be worth. So you could either send your shoes to the exchange and eventually get a diamond shoe pack, or if you were to quick sell 15 gold shoes, 30 bronzes, and 20 silvers, you'd be able to make 17 and a half thousand MT. So I guess it comes down to, do you want the gold shoe, the diamond shoe, or do you want the MT? Personally, the MT seems more appealing to me. I would rather the MT, especially because shoes don't have that much value at the moment, and it's a diamond shoe pack. Like, you're probably not gonna get the best shoe available in the game that actually has value. You're probably gonna get something worth at about 3K MT. That's why I would much rather go through and just quick sell everything, which is what I'm gonna be doing now. I don't have a ton of shoes, but I mean, I'd rather quick sell them and have the MT. I'll go through, quick sell all these, and we'll see how much MT we got after this. So after quick selling my shoes, I now have 77,000 MT, nearly at that 100K mark, which I would like to hit. Now, another way you can make MT as well is, we have these badges right here. I don't, it doesn't look like you can send Hall of Fame badges to the auction, but you can send gold ones. So badges that have sort of, I guess a hyped up kind of name, like Dimer, that is a good badge. If you were to send a badge like Diamond to the auction, uh, Downhill, I might actually send a couple to the auction to see sort of what their value is looking like for you guys. Downhill would be solid, but I'm not gonna send it to the auction. I wanna check out the value of these, list them on the auction and see what they sell for. So you see Deep Fades, it sells for, we're going for 750 MT. That is a bronze badge, which is a lot better than quick selling it for 700. And 50. I've got a gold one, so there's no gold ones up on the auction, so I might start it. You know, I might put 3K on that badge, put up four hours, see if it sells. So I've got a few things auctioned now. Um, they still have a quite a while to go, including these cards right here. I put these jerseys up for a bid, which is just a quicker way of doing it if you don't want to search it, but I got these cards up, some badges up. If all this sells, there's over 20,000 MT just sitting here if it all sells, but if it doesn't, I'll send it back to the auction, relist it, put it up for another four hours, 
for a little bit cheaper and wait for it to sell then. That is gonna wrap up this video, guys. Wanted to show you guys some little tips on how you can make MT, how you can grind for it, what you can sell if you need it or if you don't need it. Again, if you want something like a diamond shoe, you can definitely send your shoes to the exchange, but if you don't think it's worth it, like I don't, it's literally 17 and a half thousand MT for a diamond shoe pack that might cost 3,000 MT shoe. So it doesn't really seem worth it in my opinion, um, but we're able to make a fair bit of MT. I'm sitting on just under 80K MT, which I'm happy with considering it's still day one. By the time me recording this, I haven't even been playing for 24 hours yet. So I'm pretty happy to have 77K MT in the bank, but I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope it helps you out. Make sure you do drop a like right now and subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll catch you guys on the next upload. It's been witnessed.